Hey there, independent wrestling fans. This is Kathy Campanelli with Free Match Friday. Every week, we are going to give you a sampling of what IWTV's partner promotions have to offer. And this week, we are featuring a six-man tag team match from Glory Pro Wrestling as the unit of KLD, Danny Adams, and Mike Outlaw, known as No New Friends, take on Buff Bagwell, Scott Norton, and Sean Waltman of the NWO. Enjoy. It's time now for our main event. How's this for nostalgia? On one side of the ring, you see no new friends. And Greg, on the other side, three members, three original members of the New World Order. I gotta say, man, first of all, it's pretty dope. I don't, I don't think I would be calling a Sean Waltman match or a Scott Norton Buck Bagwell. Uh, I'm pretty stoked to be here tonight in this crowd. It's been a long night. We've seen a lot of crazy things tonight. And this crowd's on their feet and absolutely rabid to see this match. So you can call it nostalgia, you can call it whatever you want. This is a legit match right now. The crowd seems to be split as to who they're cheering for. Danny Adams and Buff Bagwell going back in the fourth right now. And it seems like this is a very pro NWO crowd here at Pops. Well, I think this is going to happen. You got an entire you know, career of uh, these guys in the NWO causing mayhem. And they really get on the side both things. They, they act like garbage, they cheat, they steal, but the fans love them. That's on both sides. No new friends have a 2018 NWO vibe to them. But if you don't think that, it's undeniable. I mean, look at tonight. Tonight, there's no new friends sold out. That's what this is tonight. It's their playground. They wanted to come to their house at Pops and have their match. They handpicked this match. We all know who's in charge here. We all know who did this. They wanted to fight the version of No New Friends from 20 years ago and prove that they're better on a grand scale. And here we are. Danny Adams rolled out of the ring, but he's slowly getting back in. It looks like at some point we're going to see Adams and Bagwell lock up here. And this is a match that Danny Adams has wanted for a long time. Whether they'll recognize it here or not, see, I'm an old friend. I'm a Danny Adams believer from way back. He has pitched this moment to me multiple times. And here he is. And is the moment going to be too big for him? That's the question you have to ask yourself. You've wanted something for so long, and now you're there. You're in the ring with Buff the Stuff Bagwell. You're in a headlock. What are you going to do, Danny Adams? Danny Adams throws Buff off the ropes, but Buff comes back with a big shoulder block. He's going to take some time to think about it outside of the ring. He's going to recover. KLD, Mike Alba, also in the corner. This is the first time that all three No New Friends have been in a match since they debuted their new friend back at Only the Strong Survive. It is, man. And you got to believe this is probably the first time that these three collection of guys have been on, on the other side quite some time. I mean, I think if something like this was, uh, was booked anywhere around, you'd hear about it. This is malicious and, and X-Pac coming together for the first time in a long, long time. The uh, historic night here. Adams just doesn't seem to have his head into this match just yet. Maybe, maybe he needs to tag out. Maybe he needs to get one of the other two in the ring to start this thing off. And he gets a kick to the gut of that well, though. This moment could be so big for Danny Adams here. You, you, you dreamed about this moment, about going one-on-one -on -one with one of your heroes from childhood. And he's in there now. What do you do? And, and that's the big moment. Is, is it too big for you? And Buck taking control. Buff Bagwell still with that strength in the ring. It was 22 years ago when the NWO first formed. Three members started things off. Hall, Nash, and Hogan. And they quickly formed an alliance with many other wrestlers. And these three on that side of the ring are three of the first that they chose to be part of their stable, if you will, that changed the landscape of the professional wrestling as we still know it today. Danny Adams is trying to, to rope in 
He's trying to trick a trickster. I don't think Buck Bagwell wants any part of it. A veteran of 25, 30 years, Buck Bagwell, he's not going to fall for something like this. And I don't exactly think that uh, respect is a big part of Buck Bagwell in the NWO's game. That's not exactly their style. And when you think of all the different tag teams, all the different partnerships that Buff Bagwell had over the years, he's ready for a match like this. A six-man tag match, this is his forte. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, you, you go in there one-on-one -on -one with Buff Bagwell at this stage of his career. Like he kicks him low. He's, he turned on him before he could turn on him. But you go in here at this stage of career one-on-one -on -one with Buff Bagwell, or one-on-one -on -one with Scott Norton, and may, you know, maybe you have an edge. But these guys, you have about Danny. six decades of experience on the other side of that ring. Danny Adams does what he should have done a long time ago. He tags out. Here we see Mike Outlaw, the newest new, no new friend member in the ring now. This is a very interesting matchup. I did not. He's he's pointing our spot. Point, uh, he wants Waltman. That's definitely the most athletic matchup that you're going to be able to get. And it's clearly everybody is caught to see Xbox in here. It's, it's the matchup that I want to see most as well. So I'm G'd up right now. And they got Xbox getting in there with, with Sean Walton, with, with Mike Outlaw, one of the original Outlaws going one-on-one -on -one with Mike Outlaw. Here comes Sean Walton, Xbox. No, 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 no. And you know what's crazy? You, you look at Sean Waldman uh, and back in the, the land of giants, and you think of this little guy, and you think of uh, a little speedster. And look at that! He takes off the jacket! He's got the DX colors on along with the New World Order colors. But a guy like Sean Waldman, he, like, he's bigger than Mike Outlaw. He's about Danny Adams' size, who is not a small man. He's a head taller than me. But that, he's a big dude. Two words for Mike Outlaw right there in the middle of the ring. Oh, but Outlaw comes back. And we're going to see it here. This is going to be, this isn't dancing around, this isn't blood. Mike Outlaw is not going to be, uh, the moment's not going to be too big for Mike Outlaw. Oh, that's short leg drive. Look, Waltman can just still go. Vintage Sean Waltman. Man, Waltman can go. Xbox six, one, two, three, kid. All the different names that you know Sean Waltman by. The big clothesline in the corner. Now making a career in the podcast world. Oh, he's going for a Bronco bus now too early. <laughs> oh, KLD comes out of nowhere. That's going to be the difference in this match. KLD, the biggest, strongest man in this fight. Something that Scott Norton is not used to running up against. He might be the biggest in this match, but I still would put Scott Norton's strength up against his. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Big chop from Waltman. And Waltman, oh, gets beat, beat down by KLD. KLD goes for the pin, two. Oh, Waltman kicks out. I, I hate to beat a dead horse, but you go back to, to Waltman's size. It's not like KLD is towering over him. It, they're a comparable size big smack across the face. But they, think as far as height, but size is where it's going to be. Tag in, before the tag in, though, I was going to say, think of some of the other giants. Think of some of the other big men that Sean Waltman has been in the ring with in his career. Absolutely. Now, this is where Danny Adams makes his hay. Like, like I said, I'm a Danny Adams believer from long before. And Danny Adams will definitely fights best for the league. Not that he can't cut from behind, not that he can't take deep, but if he can get in there and really punish Sean Bowman and control a match, control the pace. But here comes Sean Waltman looking for that big tag, the big Scott Norton. He gets it. Here comes the big guy. Oh, big clothesline, another clothesline. And now we get, oh, KLD versus Scott Norton. Oh, there's a double team. Looks like this might knock Norton down the sides, off the ropes. Oh, but Norton holds on. The big clothesline. But here comes KLD, here's that big hoss. No, he's got him up, he's got him up. Oh my God. Just scoops him up. A certain dominant. You gotta believe.
Scott Flash Norton is gonna answer though. And there it is! Big clothesline, that arm strength, that famous arm strength that made him a competitive arm wrestler taking out KLD. You know, I talk with Road Warrior Animal, the new talent director here for Glory Pro. I talk to him every week on our podcast, and he, it seems like once a week, will bring up the strength of Scott Norton, one of his best friends. Waltman in the ring now. Oh, and he gets hit from behind by KLD. His strength almost as legendary as he spin kicks from Waltman. Look at that. Everybody ate one. And he lands on Outlaw, too. Two for the price of one. Oh, no. Outlaw, not where you want to be when you're in the ring with John Waltman. It's a Bronco Buster! Now, if you'd like to see more from Glory Pro Wrestling, head over to Independent Wrestling TV and use promo code 20 Days to get your first 20 days for free.